Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Tylord, and I'm back again with Let's Play World of Warcraft Project Ascension. This is episode 12, and I am here just outside the Hillsbrad Fields, where I left off in Hillsbrad Foothills. Uh, I'm still level 23, by the way. Haven't leveled up. Uh, we are here to do a couple of quests to start off this episode. Uh, we're surrounded, we're flanked on one side by these starving mountain lions, which we have to kill for one quest, uh, Elixir of Pain. And uh, so that's to our right, excuse me. And, and to our left are these Hill, Hillsbrad footmen. Uh, and we need to kill uh, Hillsbrad footmen. No, we don't have to kill the footmen. We need to kill six Hillsbrad farmers, six Hillsbrad farm hands, uh, and two of Farmer Ray and Farmer Getz. And that's all for the Battle of Hillsbrad. But another quest that goes hand in hand with the Battle of Hillsbrad is this dangerous, which if we check our quest log, that wasn't my quest log. Uh, we'll see that it's red, and that's only red because there's four different mobs we have to kill along the way, uh, and this goes hands in hand, hand in hand with the entire Battle of Hillsbrad quest chain. So for this specific quest that we're doing, the very first Battle of Hillsbrad, we can go ahead and kill Citizen Wilkes. He he patrols around the Hillsbrad fields on the outskirts of of town. So he he's around our level. He's level appropriate for us. Um, but Minor Hackett's a little bit above our level. Farmer uh, Kalaba, actually we just saw at the start of this episode, we can kill her as well. But Clerk Horse, White Seed, and Minor Hackett are a few levels higher than us, and that's why it shows up red in our uh, quest log. Now, I wanted to go ahead and go, go to my character advancement again. I still have one talent essence that I didn't put in uh, from when I leveled up to 23 at the end of last episode when I was turning in all my quests, and I'm actually, I was debating on putting it into this uh, Ret Pally talent uh, improved judgments which will r reduce my cooldown of all my judgment spells by a total of two seconds so it'd go from 10 second cooldown to an eight second cooldown but instead I'm gonna go back to fury and put it into improved cleave which increases the bonus damage done by my cleave ability by 40 80 and then 120 percent so let's go ahead and put that point in there and we have voila 40 percent increased cleave damage so it's a sweeping strike again i went over this at the end of the last episode a sweeping strike that does your weapon damage plus 15 to the target and his nearest ally so it'll definitely be help uh useful helpful when we start gathering up mobs and you know trying to take out more than one at a time our skill and maces should be our weapon skill and maces should be pretty much maxed out uh, as with daggers 109 out of 15, 115 and maces is 111 out of 15 so we don't have to worry about missing on too many of our abilities uh, at this point in the game at this at this sta at this point yeah in 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 the let's play until I get a new weapon that will uh, require me to start leveling up all my skills again so here's some some peasants are gonna be littered throughout the uh, the Hillsbrad fields here not much we can do about that and a thing to note let me get a three stack of slice and dice that will uh, last 18 seconds. That's pretty good. There's a couple of uh, Hillsbrad, Hillsbrad tailors in here. Excuse me. Now, you might be thinking, well, we, we don't need to kill tailors, do we? Uh, no, we don't for any quest. But every now and then, we'll have some chests in here that are pretty nice. However, I'm not seeing any chests in here <laughs> that look, that look not pretty nice. Uh, just some tailors who might possibly drop something. Um, what? You didn't aggro that footman? That was odd. That was very odd. And now we're out DPS, out DPSing our pet. So, uh, rip uh, threat. <laughs> and I don't have a healing spell other than Judgment of Light, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Uh, our pet just leveled up to 23 as I mentioned before every time you level up your pet doesn't level with you We actually do have one healing ability and that's cannibalize. I'm gonna eat your cor- I'm gonna eat your corpse, bro I'm gonna eat your corpse um, So every time you level up your pet stays one level below and then he has to level up uh, by obviously The normal way you get uh, XP. So I'm gonna start attacking farmer Kalaba with my wand I'm Surprised that farmer didn't aggro but now we're gonna gonna get her now, aren't we? One thing to note with cleave, it isn't an instant attack. It's on the next melee swing. But it 
I mean, it's still very useful. Look at that damage it's outputting. That's still pretty good damage. Still pretty good damage. So there's Farmer Kalaba. She actually dropped. She's not a rare mob. She has a pretty quick spawn timer, obviously because she's part of a popular quest, Dangerous. So it's not like it's it's like she doesn't spawn every 30 minutes or every hour. But she did drop this nice Coral Band of Regeneration, which actually isn't very nice. I wouldn't replace it over what I have now. And there's some farmers there. Or we can actually... We don't have to stay in this little field. Um, the only significant NPC in this in this little farm area was Farmer uh, Kalaba. I don't, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Is it Kalaba? Kalaba? I don't know. That's such a weird name that I don't know. I missed. Why am I missing all my attacks and spells? This doesn't make any sense. Uh-oh. No pet. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna get fucked right here. That's a lot. That's a lot of mobs coming our way. All right, pupper, take them on. Get it. We're gonna cleave them, and we're gonna we're gonna take a lot of damage right here, boys. But it'll be worth it. We can do it. I have faith in myself. Time to spam cleave. Please, death to you and all who oppose. Okay, very good, very nice. See, this is what this is what I'm talking about. This is what happens when you get a cleave going on. You have your pet hold aggro. Obviously, a DPS pet like like the wolf I have isn't the best sort of tanking pet. And actually, if I really wanted to, I could even outspec of tame like hunter tame beast the the hunter ability and go for the demonology uh, warlock ability obviously you can get summon imp but also summon void walker and the void walker is actually a pretty good tank and now that i think about it I, that does sound like something i want to do um i don't know how i would get soul shards i'd obviously probably have to spec into something like uh soul drain or something that generates soul shards so that I can actually be able to summon the void walker because you do need uh, one soul shard per summon so that is something to keep in mind if you wanted to go for summon void walker it's only two ability essences and then you'd have to go to affliction warlock and probably get drain soul because this is the only spell I can think of that generates soul shards so it's a total of four uh, four ability essences as opposed to uh, tame beast is five so you're actually we're gaining one ability essence back and we'll be back on track for getting a new ability every even uh, even numbered uh, level up as opposed to every odd and we're missing out on one level of of a new ability so this is the this little house right here on the outskirts on the very far outskirts very easternmost part of the Hillsbred Fields is home to Farmer Getz and a Hillsbred Farmhand. But uh, we're not too worried about the Farmhand. I don't think it'll be too much of an issue here. Farmer Getz goes down uh, very quickly. He's a little bit of a pushover if you ask me. No special abilities or anything to make note of. You just have to be prepared to take on two mobs at a time. Now let's head on out here. Man, now that I'm st I'm starting to think about it more and more, now I really want to get rid of Tame Beast. No offense, Pupper. I mean, you've served me well. You've done a, a decent amount of damage. But summon Voidwalker. Voidwalkers are the best possible pet tank to have in the game, if you ask me, especially for PvP. If I wanted a PvP, I mean, you got abilities like Sacrifice, which uh, gives you a barrier. Uh, to all damage, to all incoming sources of damage for like 10 seconds, and it's a lot of XP. It's not just like, I mean, a lot of, of damage reduction. It's not just like one or two, like, it's not just like, it's not like Power Word Shield. Like, it's not just like a minuscule amount of, of, of shielding. It's like a considerable amount. And where is this farmhand going? He is, he is, he's just going crazy. But we can take out this other farmer. No problem. No, no questions asked. And that takes care of those guys. So we, we're at five out of six Hillsbred farmhands we need to kill. 
and we're at six out of six for the farmers so we don't have to kill any more farmers we're probably going to end up killing a few more and speak of the devil it's citizen wilkes himself get him pupper i'm actually going to go in for the wand there we go no 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 get back here get back here i don't want to kill that farmer i could if i wanted to but obviously i don't wanna so i ain't gonna okay so this is citizen wilkes level 25 he did have one special ability let me see what it, he he had one special ability he used on pupper and i think it dazed him oh no yeah he just dazed him it wasn't a special ability my pupper my my pupper's back was turned to him and he dazed him uh so now we need to kill one more farmhand and there's going to be a lot of them throughout this entire farm and Farmer Ray. Now, Farmer Ray lives inside this little house on the prairie. So, he won't be too difficult to take out. There's not too many mobs. The only difficult part of killing humanoids or trying to farm humanoid areas, and I've talked about this before, uh, is that they run away for the most part. Most of them run away at around 20% health. 25, 25. 20% health, they'll they'll run away in fear, and that's when they start uh, aggroing all the other mobs in the area. And it's it's a real pain in, in the butt, but but it's a real pain in the butt. But you see see what I did there. Uh, but it's not too difficult to take on more than uh, two or three mobs at a time, as I just showed you before with cleave. I mean, come on, get out of here. So we dinged up to level 24. Uh, we've gained uh, some hit points, some mana, agility, and stamina has increased. We've unlocked. A whole slew, new slew of abilities all from all different specs. Uh, Execute was actually an ability I've been uh, having, I've been keeping an eye on that I've wanted for a while just because of ha I have all this excess rage at the end of fights. Uh, and Execute will use all that excess rage, turns every extra rage point into like uh, an extra point of damage, essentially. Um, so let's go to our stat allocation, put some, put some more stats in. We're going to keep doing what we've been doing. One point in strength, one in stamina, one in agility. Let's go to character advancement. Obviously, I only have one ability essence, so I can't really learn anything. That's not completely true because there are a few talents here and there. Like if we go, for instance, into Assassination Rogue, we can get Vigor. Increases our maximum energy by 10. That would be pretty useful. Uh, that costs both one ability essence and one talent essence. But let's just go into Fury Warrior and keep uh, upgrading our cleave, improving that bad boy. Um, and actually... At 25, I'm not going to put my last point into that, I don't think, just yet. Only because uh, at 25, we unlock the new tier of talents throughout all of the... All of the talents, <laughs> I guess I could say. All of the talent specs uh, at 25 is when we unlock the new tier, and that's when we get uh, access to talents such as dual wield spec in the fury warrior tree increases the damage done by your offhand weapon by five percent and increases your chance to hit with melee weapons uh by a total of, it'll be 25 percent increased damage and then a plus five percent hit chance i believe now we already have in combat rogue we already have the talent spec of dual wield spec so our, our damage done with offhand has already been increased by 50 percent but we're just going to keep on increasing that bad boy by another 25 percent and you're thinking geez that's a lot of extra damage that's a lot of damage and i'm saying hell yeah it is get completely fucked because my offhand is gonna be uh oh let's just kill all these mobs oh no we don't have to okay yeah now we, now we do now we do kind of have to but it ain't no thing gee i got my cleave you think you can take me on with two points in improved cleave i don't think so get completely outskilled i'm missing all of my shadow strikes why is this happening to me actually i think at 24, usually you, you think, okay, I've just I've just leveled up, I've hit a new level, and I'm even leveled. Usually that means you get you can get access to a new new ability, but it also means you have access to new ranks of spells. I haven't gone to any class trainers in such a long time. Most of my abilities, however, I should preface that by saying, however, comma. Most of my abilities I do have only require one rank. Like slice and dice, you can't you can't rank that you, you can't rank that up. Like you get this at level 12 or whatever level you get it at, and you can't go at like level 30 and expect to get a new rank of slice and dice. It'll always be 10% increase in attack speed. I think. Now that might not be the case because I I never mained a rogue, so I don't know if that increases at all. But I think 10% is the only 
like, it doesn't get faster than 10%. That's pretty dang fast, you know? So, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I actually need to rebuff re up with Flame Tongue Weapon. I have to keep an eye on up, up here, my buffs, my little buffs area, because last episode when I was in Durnhold Keep, when I was going back and editing my video, I noticed... What are you doing? Oh, he's... He's looting some bruise weed. You can have that bruise weed, bro. I don't want bruise weed. Bruise, bruise weed is is garbo. I actually should try and kill more than just like a couple mobs at a time. Flex my new cleave, my improved cleave ability. Anyway, yeah, I, in the last episode, I noticed my flame tongue weapon and also my seal of righteousness buffs ran out, and I was killing mobs for about 15 minutes without rebuffing up, and I'm just like, God. You're such a noob. Why? Why does so many? Why, why does anyone watch me play when I can't even play the game uh, at max efficiency, maximum optimization of gameplay? I don't know. So I'm gonna cut away now. Uh, you saw me do Battle of Hills, Brad. We will get uh, a new Battle of Hills, Brad quest when we turn in this old one. Uh, in the meantime, Elixir of Pain. All these mountain lions are littered throughout uh, the road back from Hillsbred Fields all the way back to Terran Mill. So I'm, I'm already at 5 out of 10, so you're not going to be mission, missing too much action on screen. But I'll cut away. I'm going to continue killing the rest of these mountain lions, and I'll meet you guys back in Terran Mill. Alrighty, everybody. We are back here in Terran Mill. Let's go ahead and talk to High Ex Executor. I always, I always get tripped up. I always get stumped by this name. I always want to say High Executor, like the Pokemon Executor. So, you know what? I'm just going to stick with that. Let's just keep calling, keep calling her High Executor Dartholia from here on out. Turn this quest in. Get a shitload of experience. Get a pretty good chunk of silver here. And she does have the follow-up Battle of Hillsbrad. This is uh, quest number two out of the chain of like six or seven. Uh, and the follow-up is killing 15 Hillsbrad peasants. Now, remember when I said we don't have to worry about peasants? I totally actually forgot about this quest. And we have to kill 15 goddamn peasants and it's gonna take a while but luckily we have cleave we have improved cleave what am i talking about that's not gonna take a long time we have retribution aura coupled with cleave get out of here let's turn in elixir of pain to apothecary Leiden here uh, we can actually pick up some new either some new boots oh my god or these gloves of brawn and you know what f that i'm going with these stomping boots look how look how crazy these are plus four strength plus four agi so we're losing two stamina in exchange for two strength and four agi. Hell yeah, let's get it done, boy. And there is a follow-up to Elixir of Pain, which is still Elixir of Pain. So now that we've created this new uh, poisonous, dangerous concoction for Mr. Leiden here, he wants us to feed it to Stanley. Oh, poor Stanley. The pupper we saw back over uh, at the Hillsbrad Fields, uh, kind of by the house where Farmer Getz lived. Uh, so let's go ahead and... <clears throat> Excuse me. Equip these stomping boots. We don't have anything really good in our bag, so I'm just going to sell all this stuff. It's it's pretty much trash. Other than maybe the Coral Band of Regeneration we can try and sell on the Auction House, but I normally don't sell many things on the Auction House other than, like, linen cloth because I don't I don't feel like it's really worth it. It's not worth my time. It's not worth uh, the, the amount, the tiny amount of money it takes to actually put an item up for auction uh, and this NPC here Mr. Ott who is the weaponsmith has a couple of weapons we can buy here if we wanted to some of are one-handed actually this isn't too bad this callous axe it is one-handed these blur all these axes are one-handed uh, and actually we can if we wanted to we could take this dagger and it would be an upgrade for when we hit level 27 but that's that's a few levels away, but if we wanted to, we could pick up uh, this Blurred Axe. gives us plus Agi. It's actually better than the Hook Dagger of Stamina. However, I have to keep in mind, both of my weapons have random enchants on them. One has Fiery Weapon, the other has Life Stealing, so that's pretty good. I don't know if I want to replace those immediately, but the DPS is definitely something to think about. So I'm going to cut away, and I'll see you guys back over at the Hillsbred Fields, where we have to kill a literal, like, a, a metric fuck ton of peasants. That's how I'm gonna measure how many peasants I have to kill. A metric 
fuck ton. Alrighty, gang, here we are back at the fields. Uh, I think I'm just gonna come to this first field here. Probably holds the most peasants uh, here in the Hillsbride fields. It, it's host to the most peasants you can find uh, anywhere uh, within these farmlands here. And actually, um, immediately, we're gonna be greeted by all these all these peasants um, Cleave seems to be doing a good chunk of damage actually um, I want to heal up my pet here uh, these fucking these dudes are gonna start running away at any point in time so just be prepared for that uh, I'm gonna recall my pet keep men pet up on him at all times let's take out this farmer here before my pet decides to die and let's try and aggro all of these mobs before my pet you know actually dies uh, no. Don't die. Now, see, this is why I got a wand. Now I can range. Now I can attack him from range. And it ain't no thing, bruh. No, why? Oh, shit. Not like this? Alright, I'm good. Make sure to keep judging the light up at all times. And let's actually start looting. Is my pet killing me? killing this dude. Let's start looting all these corpses before they start despawning and I miss out on all my loot. Fuck you, dude. Trying to, trying to, trying to kill me before I can loot all these corpses? Get out of here, bruh. Alright, so we just killed a shit ton of mobs and that's only 4 out of 15 required. Oh boy. Um, pupper, I mean, you gotta start carrying your weight here, bruh. You gotta start, what, what's your rank of growl? I mean, you gotta start, um, Carrying your weight around here. Please. I need you to hold aggro better. And you're not holding aggro very well at all. Not at all. I mean, I even gave you Retribution Aura. And it's like, nothing's nothing's happening here. That's okay, though. Fuck you. I'm trying to kill you. Alright. We good, we good. We don't want to venture too far out, outside the, the outskirts of this little farm area because that's when we start running into footmen, uh, or feetmen, if you prefer the plural. The plural of footmen is feetmen, if you guys didn't know. Ha ha, BTW. Um, but now you know. You gotta risk it. You gotta risk being aggroed by the footmen to get the biscuit. And in this case, the biscuit... What's up, dude? You wanna go? You wanna fucking go? I'll take you out. I'll take you out, 1v1. Spam my cleave. How do you like that shit, huh? How do you like that shit? The biscuit in this case. I'm saying you gotta risk it for the biscuit. And the metaphor being the biscuit is looting these corpses. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. That is not a very good metaphor. If you ask me, hey, that's pretty good pathing. You just jumped right over that. A lot of times they won't, but he did. Yeah, that dude's that dude's got a bear pet too. Oh, I have bandages. Silly me. I'm like, how am I gonna heal now? I don't have a healing spell, but I do have bandages, and that comes in handy. Uh, so we need to kill more peasants. I'm not not seeing too many peasants around these parts. So we can we can we can also get uh, aggro. From a distance, with our wand of decay, very good, very good wand. Try and keep my slice and dice up at all times. Make sure that's up so we get maximum a DPS output, if you will. So we're at nine out of ten once we kill this Hillsbrad peasant here, and I think I'll cut away now. I don't actually no. I'm not gonna cut away. I have to go. I have to go feed Stanley the elixir of pain. Poor Stanley. Ah, oh, poor Stanley. All right. I got a little sidetracked there. I was thinking, okay, I'm done killing all these peasants. Time to go back to Terran Mill, but that's not the case. We have to. We have to run all the way around this farm. My pet's gonna get stuck on a tree there. Good job. Project Ascension devs. You didn't fall for the pathing mistakes. You didn't cut corners. The pathing, so far. I've found has not been an issue, more or less. Pets pets are a little iffy, but I mean, other than that, mobs seem to follow a pretty good uh, pathing 
AI, AI, I guess you'd call it, a pathing code. I haven't found too many problems while playing so far. We picked up these green weave gloves of the eagle, and that increases our int and standby five, but uh, I'm going to keep what I have on just for the agility. Now, Stanley is right over there, but we're probably, I'm probably going to kill these uh, farmers and farm farmhands just for the sake of killing them because fuck the humanoids. Let's try and use all of our abilities at once. We can actually Shadow Strike. Pet, no, what are you doing? Don't run over there. We can actually Shadow Strike while cleaving at the same time. I had no idea, but now I know. And knowledge is power. So let's talk to Stanley here. Poor little pupper. He's like my wolf. Just smaller. Wolf? You pour some of the elixir into your hand and hold it before Stanley's mouth. Oh, shit. Get fucked. Enraged Stanley trying to kill me? I don't think so. I don't think so, little pupper. You're dead. Yeah, how do you like that, stupid wolf? I was trying to, I was trying to feed you. No, I wasn't. I was trying to poison him with the elixir. I'm not, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. That's exactly what I was doing. I was trying to poison him to death, and he got mad, and so I had to put him down. I had to euthanize him with my sword. No, I don't have a sword. I have a mace and a dagger. I euthanized him <laughs> with my, with my mace to his face. Okay. So I've been thinking, I'm very close to leveling. We're probably gonna level as we kill. What am I doing? I could use travel form here. Save some time, run fast. I run at very high speeds, by the way. I'm gonna save, um, what was I saying? Uh, by killing, we need to kill six more peasants. In doing so, in killing these six more peasants that we need to kill, I will probably level up to 25. And when that happens, I will get my second ability essence. Uh, what am I? What am I saying here? I will get my second ability. Where are all the peasants? Oh my gosh! Hello, hello! Everyone's dead. There's no one here. Absolutely no one here. Let's just kill this footman. Cause why not? Fuck the footman. Deal with it, bruh. Okay. When we level up, up to 25, we get our second ability essence. And I've been thinking about what I want to do. And I'm pretty sure, I'm 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 pretty sure I know I have a good understand I have a good feeling about this. So, I will go into more detail when I do level up eventually. What the fuck? Where are all my peasants? Hello? Uh, there's no one here. Someone's killing all my mobs. That's not cool. I wanted these mobs. There's some farm hands over there. I don't see the peasants. Where are the peasants? Are they back here? Are they... Oh, they're over here. Okay. There's some peasants. Yeah, there's some peasants right there. Are there some peasants in this little area? No, no, no. What are you doing? Pet, you stupid idiot. No, there's no peasants over there. But there are peasants within the councilman's chambers. And I will surely... Oh, shit. Okay. He's dead. Do I want to risk looting this corpse? I know before I said risk it for the biscuit. Oh, got it. And we stealth out of there, boys. All right, let's go. Time to kill some peasants. We need six of them. We got this. Shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I got this. I got the foot. I got the footman. That's what I was. That's what I was planning to do the entire time. Surprise. We're gonna kill this dude. Okay, my master plan is coming into full effect here, guys. We're gonna kill this footman. Wand him down. Ding! We've leveled to 25. Congratulations to us. We've gained some hit points, some mana, uh, some some more stats. Let's keep putting our let's keep stacking these stats, baby. Plus one strength, plus one stamp, plus one agility. That's what I like to see. I have decent amount of stamina, right? Like I have a decent amount. That's that's pretty good. My DPS just keeps increasing and increasing. So now, here's what's gonna happen. Let's go to character advancement. First off, we have to figure out what we want to put our talent point into, our talent essence. And I already know what I'm going to put it into. Um, I might go through, like, usually what I do is I go through and I look at each specific talent in each tier and figure out which is the best. Uh, but I already know which is the best for the build. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to press. For the build I'm going for. Uh, and that is going to be in the uh, Enhancement Shaman Tree. 
Actually, let's look at arms first. We got two-handed spec. No, we don't. We don't want that. Or we got taste for blood, and that's whenever we rend, we have a chance to use overpower. That's actually pretty good. But I don't have either of those abilities. We could go for dual spec, which I talked about before, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna go to enhancement shaman and flurry. We're gonna get flurry. It's the best talent to get at 25 between 25 and 30. It's the best. Uh, increases our melee attack speed by three percent. It'll be a total of. Is it 15% uh, for your next three swings after dealing a melee critical strike? And that's pretty damn good. Now, this is what we're going to do. You might not like it, but this is what we're going to do. First, we're going to come here to Affliction Warlock. We're going to get the ability, not in the talent section. We're going to get the ability Drain Soul. This costs two ability essences. Bam, we got it. How do you like them apples? I don't know. Do you guys know where I'm going with this? You should have a pretty good understanding Affliction is the first one because it, you know, it starts with an A. So it's going to be, uh, alphabetically, it's going to be the first one. I didn't know why I didn't think of that before. Do you, do you, now do you know? Now do you see where we're going with this? Because we're going to drain soul and we're going to get a soul shard. There's one right there. How do you like them apples? Let's get more. I want more. I thirst. I hunger for more soul shards. There's a second one right there. We're already at two. It's incredible. It's the best. How dare you? You want to frost nova my pet, you son of a bitch. Where are you running to? I have no idea. Let's get more soul shards. I want more. More, 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 more. More, 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 more. I need more. I, I have a thirst for soul shards. And it's unquenchable. More. I want more. I don't even know why I need Min Pet anymore. Because, okay, this is what's going to happen now. You guys might not like it. I'm sorry, pupper. I've loved you. You were like a son to me. But I no longer require your service. Oh shit, that means I, I need to get rid of Min Pet. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll do that eventually. Let's go to Beastmaster Hunter. We're going to unlearn Tame Beast. Uh, that's going to actually re require us to use our scroll of unlearning. And, and by the way, I got a scroll of unlearning, guys. Every 10 levels, I believe you get one. Starting at level 20, you get one. And then like level 30, level 40, level 50, level 60. Or you can go on the website and buy them. Or you can, I don't know how you get them regularly. I think it costs, you can probably buy them for real gold, like in-game gold somewhere. So let's get rid of Tame Beast. We've got five ability essences back now. Um, you can actually shoot. I'm dumb. You can also unlearn them uh, by spending This is how you unlearn you click to unlearn bam and it costs money So we can also unlearn min pet. We don't need that anymore. We don't have a pet So now let's go to demonology warlock. Oh, I'm so happy right now and let's click on learn summon void walker Let's go to demonology warlock get that bad boy on screen here and summon our void walker Oh, I'm so happy right now. We finally got a pet that can tank I'm sorry, Wolfie. Your services are no longer required. We've got Summon Voidwalker now, and his name is Sartaz. That's not the name I would have went with, but that's okay. We can't rename him, but that's okay. So we've got, he doesn't need, he doesn't have an experience bar because he doesn't level up. He's got some pretty good abilities. What? Let's do it from here then. Uh, so this is Sacrifice I was talking about. Uh, he's got four abilities so far. One, Consume Shadows. Rank one, so he just learned it recently. Uh, let, actually, let's see. Torment is the, the first main ability that he starts with. Uh, and that's his taunt, essentially. How he gains aggro. Taunts the creature, increasing the chance that it will attack the Voidwalker more effective than Torment rank one. He also has Suffering. 100 mana, 2 minute cooldown. Taunts all enemies within 10 yards, increases the chance that they will attack the Voidwalker. We don't want to keep this... On, uh, on on cooldown, constant cooldown. That's what this means when you when you right click this in the pet bar. And I was trying to do this in my in my spell book, but it wasn't working because uh, it's being blocked by the Ascension uh, IO client has been blocked from action only because of Blizzard UI. I can disable and reload the UI. I'm not going to do that. But we can turn it on and off, like make it instant cast through the pet action bar down here. We're not going to do that. So this is like an AOE taunt 
Tor Torment is just like 1v1 taunt. Uh, and it has a 5 second cooldown so you can keep, you know, taunting, taunting, taunting my mobs all day, baby. Uh, suffering AoE taunt. Consume shadows. This is how he heals. Uh, and it's greatly, greatly increasing stealth detection. That's pretty cool. So 80, it costs 85 mana of the Void Walker's mana, not my own mana. But the Void Walker consumes nearby shadows to bolster its form, recovering 324 health over six seconds. So instead of Min Pet, the Void Walker already has a built-in heal. Isn't that amazing? I don't have to spend two ability essences just to heal it. That's incredible. It also has sacrifice, and this is what I was talking about before. Sacrifices a portion of the Void Walker's health, giving its master a shield that absorb 500 damage. L look how amazing this is. It only took like 200 health, and he's gonna regain that. And now I have a shield that lasts 30 seconds that ab is absorbing 513 damage. Uh, while the shield holds, spell casting will not be interrupted by damage. I don't have any spells other than Drain Soul, I guess, at the moment. So, fuck, I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy that I got Void Walker. Such a good pet. So now I have all these extra ability essences. I have five ability essences. I can get two new spells that I couldn't otherwise already have. Now, what am I going to get? I don't know. I think I'll uh, probably figure that out when I'm back in Terran Mill. But in the meantime, let's go kill some more peasants. Yes, we have to kill six more peasants. And I will showcase my newly acquired Void Walker pet. Oh, I'm so happy. Alright. Get this peasant. Ooh, look at that taunt, baby. Oh my. That's pretty good. He's saying, he's saying, what? I want to run away, please. And I'm saying no. Alright, time to cleave. Time to cleave, boys. Oh, I got that flurry. I got that flurry. I can shadow strike and cleave and slice and dice. Oh, baby. Get absolutely destroyed. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. That's okay. Where's all my rage? I have a lot of rage. I have a, I have a, I have a good chunk of rage. I don't have a lot of rage, but it's, it's decent enough. Please, Voidy, come to my aid. F that. I'm sacrificing. Give me that shield. Yes. Give it to me. I like it. What you know about me, son? You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing about the way I operate. And now we can consume shadows. And guess what? Consume shadows doesn't use a... It's not a cooldown. The only thing we have to worry about is... Uh, is his mana region and that doesn't seem vi like vi like like much of a chore like before i still have to kill four more peasants what was i killing before i don't know i'm actually out dpsing i'm out dpsing the threat meter please go kill this peasant i do not require his assist i do not require these peasants cannot be allowed to live Wait, does he have enough mana for this? Oh no, he doesn't have enough mana. No, please. Uh oh. My Voidy's gonna die, isn't he? Not if I can help it! Die, you son of a gun. My Voidy's dead. I can do nothing to stop him. His thirst is unquenchable! Can, however, no, 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 no. Protect this guy. Please, sir. I must gain aggro. No, my Void Walker died. That's okay. We could take this guy out. No problem. Fuck. I. This is why I hate goddamn humanoid mob. Oh my god. This is why I hate humanoid mobs. They're the worst. They run away, you can't kill them. This is why I want execute. Oh, execute! Oh, execute! I can get that. I can get that easy. Well, you want go, son? You don't want to go. You don't want to go. Come on, you want it? You want some? You want some? You're gonna try and disarm me? I don't think so, son. I don't think so. Look at that. It's disarmed, and I'm still killing your bitch ass. Get absolutely destroyed. I killed a chicken with my cleave, by the way. I don't know if you guys heard that. That was pretty funny. Rest in peace, little chicken. 
Uh, yeah, so we just killed uh, essentially this entire field, and look at that, I didn't die. I did lose my Voidy, though. Rest in peace, Voidwalker. 2018 to 2018. Now, nah, but, but for real, guys, look how amazing Voidwalker is. He held that aggro like a boss, and we can just summon him again. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, cool. This was immediately, I know this was not a mistake. This was for the better. I loved Pupper. I love Hunter Pets, but man, this Voidwalker is too good. Okay, I'm going to cut away now. My man is a little low. I don't know why his health is red. Dude, that's weird. Okay. I'm gonna cut away now. Like I just said, I'll meet you guys back in Terran Mill. Stop consuming shadows, bro. Uh, turn in this quest, and uh, we'll see what we have in store for us after that. So I'll uh, see you guys over there. Alrighty, everybody, we are back here in Terran Mill. Uh, we got Pog Champ, Light Dairy, casting his basic campfire here. And normally that would increase our spirit by four, but it's not increasing our spirit by four. That's odd. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to High Executor. Darthalia, uh, turn in the Battle of Hillsbrad. This was quest number two in the chain. Turn that in, get a pretty good sizable chunk of experience and some silver as always. And now we get quest number three in the chain. Uh, this is, uh, excuse me, Battle of Hillsbrad, still where she wants us to kill Blacksmith Varrington and four Hillsbrad Apprentice Blacksmith. So we're gonna accept that quest. Uh, and since we went over and uh, fed the Elixir of Pain to Stanley and killed him, after he turned on us and attacked us, he wants us to make another elixir for him. Elixir of Agony. And we will do so. Eagerly. Excuse me. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be the end of the episode right right now, right here. Because uh, I just was checking as I cut away. And it, it's going to be like 40 minutes. Oh, I hate when my videos get to be around 40 minutes long. Because I don't know... That's such a such a daunting thing to ask you guys, my subscribers, to watch a 40 minute long video of me playing World of Warcraft. I don't know. Like I enjoy making these episodes. It's not that. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, oh, here's a video. A two days later, of another 40 minute video. Oh, two days later, here's another 40 minute video. But if you guys are enjoying this content, like I'm, I'm gonna keep it up. I'm just gonna try and keep the episode time shorter than than 40 minutes that that's a little ridiculous so apologies for that but if you guys enjoyed this video i mean this episode then hey uh then i guess i don't have to apologize for it being 40 minutes long man i'm excited though because i got my void walker here uh we got five ability essences and um <clears throat> and i want to show you guys I'll, I'll talk about this at the start of the next episode because not i, don't, I feel like not everyone watches to the end of this episode so if i if i show you guys this amazing Who, who buffed me? Thank you, Light Dairy. Um, if I show you, if I show you guys this amazing blues I got right here, OMG, she's she's got the self buffs for days. I don't have any uh, any buffs. She just has intellect, mark of the wild, fortitude. That's amazing. Um, if I show you guys these amazing blue gloves I got, not everyone's gonna know about it because they don't watch to the end of the episode. All right, guys. That's it. Thank you for watching. As always, I hope y'all stay classy and peace out.